Hey guys, welcome back. It's Missy. I am a life and relationship coach and on this channel, we get to the root of the issue. And we learn how to heal and deal. So if that's your thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of the fam. So today's topic is a really important one and it's on projection. What is projection? At? How do you spot when someone's projecting and how do you handle it? Projection is usually unconscious, meaning that most people, they don't realize that they're doing it. And it's actually a defense mechanism where a person takes their unwanted traits or their uncomfortable emotions they don't want to deal with, and they then attribute it to somebody else. So things like shame, guilt, denial, insecurities, things they don't like about themselves, or failure. All those feelings are things that they couldn't deal with and they couldn't process and get through. So then they try to keep it at bay, away from them. It's a conflict between their conscious beliefs and their unconscious feelings. And in order to get rid of that conflict, they then put it on somebody else. By projecting, we are avoiding identifying an issue. We are avoiding taking ownership of that issue and we are avoiding dealing with that issue. Here's the thing, as a child, most of us did not learn how to deal with our uncomfortable feelings. We don't know how to deal with those things. So as a child, if you're not really taught how to deal with your emotions, since most likely your parents didn't know how to deal with their negative emotions. You are gonna do anything you can to not feel uncomfortable or deal with that negative emotion or that negative feeling. And it's interesting because a lot of people don't wanna deal with negative emotions. They wanna completely avoid it. They wanna distract themselves from it. And the thing is that we need to deal with these negative emotions in order to feel those good feelings. People want that immediate positive feeling. They wanna feel good all the time. They want happiness but we can't experience those good things without going through those negative things, without climbing up the mountain to reach the beautiful view. So we need to learn how to deal with these emotions, to go through the negative emotions, to accept that this is what's going on and it's okay, it's just a feeling. So we were never really taught how to deal with our emotions. So someone that struggles with a sense of self, someone that doesn't like, doesn't know how to deal with their discomfort or their negative emotions will then project. They didn't learn how to acknowledge and accept that negative emotion, that negative thing about themselves. And they didn't learn how to nurture through it. They didn't learn that it's okay to have negative emotions. They want to completely get rid of it, avoid it, not deal with it. But we as humans, we can't suppress things. They eventually come out in some sort of way. And that's why projection exists. If not projection, then it would come out as anxiety, panic, depression. No matter what, when you suppress things for so long, it eventually has to come out. So people that project use projection as a way to get out their suppressed negative emotions and feelings. Because as a child, they didn't learn how to deal with these emotions, how to nurture through them, or they don't have the knowledge, they then push it onto somebody else. People feel more comfortable seeing negative traits in others rather than feeling or dealing with them themselves. They don't wanna take that accountability, so they will put it onto you. The people that usually struggle with projection are usually the people that have little self-awareness. So that's people like narcissists, manipulative people, toxic people. They are most likely the ones that will project because they have little self-awareness. They may struggle with self-reflection and they don't know how to deal with these negative emotions. It always somehow is everyone else's fault. You are the one who's doing this certain thing. But in reality, they are just telling on themselves, which basically that's what projection is. It's basically a way of people telling on themselves. For instance, a cheating partner will accuse their partner of cheating. Or for instance, let's say you tell someone something positive you want to do, like maybe you want to open a business or you want to start a relationship. If that person then is trying to talk you out of it, that then 
shows that that is potential projection because they are that's the way of them dealing with their own insecurities their own shame their own fear of maybe their own relationship or business not succeeding or they didn't go through with it because of all of their insecurities and fears people will project at any time anything can trigger it. anger or just a certain thing going on it could trigger their projection to come out it really just depends what's going on so if something triggers them to be fearful and you're talking about something they then may project that fear or maybe they may be projecting their shame and guilt if if something comes up or if you guys are in a fight and they're angry then they may project and become a defensive it really just depends what's going on so just understand there's some sort of trigger that causes the person to project it's a negative feeling they need to get rid of. And the way they're getting rid of it is by saying like, oh, this person is the one that's doing this thing. So they are not aware of what is going on in their mind in regards to their feelings. So if you are someone that doesn't have a strong sense of self, doesn't have self-love, doesn't trust yourself, you will get caught up in this person projecting because you will then get defensive yourself because you feel like you're being put on attack. You Because you feel like you're being attacked, you will then react off of ego. You will then defend yourself. They are saying all these hurtful things, so of course you're gonna want to defend yourself, defend your character. You take it very personally because you don't realize it really has little to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. You will get caught up in that whole situation. And also something else is it may give these feelings of also gaslighting as well is because it could cause you to question your reality because if they're projecting a lot onto you, you then start to ask yourself like, am I, th am I doing that thing? Am I, am I this certain person? So when you have that, when you don't have that strong sense of self, you get caught up in, in all of those emotions. So how do you know when someone is projecting? The way you can rel recognize it is if someone is saying things to you that don't feel right, don't match with how you're feeling, someone is accusing you of things or saying things that don't match how you feel, that is potential projection. So you want to recognize when something doesn't feel right, you want to take a step back. You want to recognize when you're starting to get defensive. You want to recognize when, when you're feeling all those feelings. You want to take a step back and you want to see if that description actually fits them. Do, are all of those things they're saying, does it match more of them than they match you? You especially want to pay attention to the person that's saying those things. So is it a narcissistic type person? Is it a person that you've noticed you, you have a lot of red flags with? Pay attention to the person that's saying these things. Are they a valuable source? If not, you might not want to take what they're saying into consideration. Another thing you want to ask yourself is, do your trusted friends and family say these things? Has anyone that you trusted and loved say these things to you before? If they haven't, then you know that that is someone that maybe isn't as credible. So that's how you recognize them, which kind of goes into how do you deal with them? The very first step is you need to recognize it. So you need to pay attention. Like I said, does it match how you're feeling? Does it not make sense? Does it feel like they fit the description more? And the next thing is that you want to be in control of your emotions. You need to learn how to master your emotions. This is the time to master your emotions. You can't control what emotion pops up. You can't control the feelings pop up. Like maybe your first feeling is that you need to defend yourself. You need to prove yourself. But the thing that you can control is the way you react to that emotion. You react to that feeling. You are responsible for your own feelings and your own reactions. So you want to make sure that you don't immediately react with ego when you're getting that, those feelings of being defensive or you're feeling like you're on the attack or you're feeling like you, you're getting an urge to prove yourself or overly explain yourself. Pause for a minute, take a deep breath and understand when you're doing those things, when you're reacting off of their projection, they are then keep, they are then putting you them on their level and you are taking that negative energy in and now you are in the same negative place that they are in. They don't want to do that. You don't want to be on 
you don't want to take in their negative energy. You want to maintain your own emotions so you don't get dragged into it. And this can be extremely hard as they're saying really hurtful things. They're saying things that are assassinating your character. So of course your ego is going to pop up and be like, wait a minute, like this isn't me. I got to defend myself. I got to prove I'm not this person. But you need to take a step back and just know that they, this is something that has to do with them and it doesn't have anything to do with you. Once you take a step back, then you can let them know and say, hey, listen, I don't think this is anything to do with me. I think this is a, this is something that has to do with you and your own emotions. They may still not realize that, or maybe they will. It doesn't matter. You still need to protect yourself and you need to make sure that you don't take that in and think that it's you or you're the problem. If this person's being really disrespectful because people that are unself-aware have major egos and they can't take constructive criticism in, they may deflect or start to attack you. So if they're getting really out of hand, if they're being really disrespectful, you can let them know that you don't want to have this kind of conversation because you don't like the way that they're speaking to you and you are ready to have a conversation when they're ready to speak to you in a respectful manner and like an adult. Just know you always have the option to walk away if you don't like the way someone's treating you. And you let them know like you're very open to a conversation, but it needs to be a respectful conversation that you're, you guys are coming to some sort of solution rather than it being low blows or it, making you guys get into a negative heated argument where you're not going anywhere. And even if you do have an adult conversation with them, some people are not able to go there and that's okay. That's just their way. They don't want to deal with those negative emotions. They don't want to self-improve. They don't want to take accountability and that's fine. That's, that's on them. But you, you are someone that you want to improve and you want to make sure that you have that strong sense of self. You trust yourself. You listen to yourself. You love yourself enough to know that you don't deserve to deal with those things. You have those boundaries. And just understand, like I said, it has nothing to do with you. It's a personal problem. They are not able to deal with those negative emotions. They are not able to realize that this is something that's going on with them. And you can get a sense of relief just knowing that. When you know it has nothing to do with you, it's much easier to deal with. You can be like, hey girl, that doesn't sound like it's my problem. It sounds like it's a personal problem. So this is basically what projection is and how you deal with it. Projection is when somebody cannot deal with their own emotions or their negative feelings about themselves, things they don't like about themselves, and they then project it onto other people because we can't suppress things for long periods of time. We, it needs to come out in some sort of way. And the way that you recognize that is if something doesn't feel right, if it doesn't, if what they're saying doesn't match with you, you then know that that is not something that you feel is you and you can identify it as potential projection. Then what you want to do with that is you want to take a step back and make sure you don't react off of ego and immediately feel like you need to defend yourself and you want to either tell that person like, hey, you know, I think this is the, your own feeling. I don't, I don't think this has anything to do with me. Or you wanna just take a step back and, and stay away from that person and just know you can walk away if that person is getting you all riled up and they can't see your point and they can't see what they're doing. So projection is a lot of blaming other people, thinking that they are this negative emotion placing their blame and their guilt onto other people so they don't have to process or deal with that emotion. And you also want to let yourself know it has nothing to do with you. It's a personal problem. And you want to give yourself that relief knowing that. What do you guys think? Leave it all in the comments below. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share with someone that you think may need it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Unconscious, unconscious, unconscious. Why can't I say that word, unconscious? So anytime something negative is going on, it could lead to projection. No, that's not true.